Hey what's up look we have a big update today on Nikon Z9 as you come closer to August when the Z9 is supposed to be tested by photographers Nikon is clearly keeping the secrets very close to its chest letting very few information spill out but there is an interesting and big rumor according to me it's a big one news is that the newly developed stacked full frame sensor will be a 45 megapixel sensor the Z7s already have a 45.7 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor but clearly this is a different one note a difference there is no mention of the Z9 sensor being BSI or backside illuminated i carefully read through the available literature nikon doesn't mention BSI in its March 9th press release the Sony A1 sensor by the way is a stacked BSI CMOS sensor just to put the facts on table now the previous rumors stated that the Z9 will only do 20 frames per second the highest a uh, burst rate only 20 fps funny but now the big news is the Z9 will be capable is likely to be capable of doing a full 30 fps with full sensor readout that's a big news because that indicates the power in the upcoming and new processor it will output 16 bit raw so will support 8k 30 naturally uh, 4k 120 60 and 30p it will have a base iso of 64 much like the uh, d850 and the z7 and z72 which is really really good and the iso will go uh, right up to 25600 natively which means it is likely to have better dynamic range than the Sony A1 that has a base iso of 100 going up to 32000 theoretically speaking a lower base iso will give the Nikon Z9 better dynamic range performance Nikon themselves claim and i quote improved noise levels and specifically significantly better dynamic range and perhaps therefore perceivably cleaner images All of this is possible with a much more powerful image processor because it's the processor that takes care of that noise. The rumors also say something interesting about the new Xpeed image processing engine. It says that the camera will have and I'm quoting here again a new image pipeline processor to broaden sensor readout emphasizing speed. This could mean that there will be new and more high performance cores that will allow the processor to do more jobs simultaneously finish more jobs simultaneously therefore from sensory doubt to encoding to decoding to denoising and color balancing all of that those things will be done faster and probably simultaneously the third big news is on real time tracking and object detection autofocus we already know that the Z Nikon Z2s are likely to get an upgrade that will unlock a watered down version of Z9's real time tracking which means things are getting ready guys now there is no news on the Z2s getting any new object detection update which means this could be something available for the higher end bodies only it could include animal and bird eye af cars and automobile and aeroplane autofocus basically object detection of various kinds coming in third i expect nikon to do a fairly stellar job because nikon had the advantage of time and also the advantage of actually fiddling with what's inside the canons and the sony's especially if it is really going to be priced between 6000 and 7000 us us dollars it better be that good as august comes close we will know more so do subscribe and click on the bell icon to stay notified see you as august comes close we'll know more so do subscribe and click on the bell icon to stay notified see you